Hello folks, so today I'm going to tie a wee fly called a balloon cat. Uh, very good dry fly for fishing whenever there's fry cruising up around the upper levels, um, up around the surface. Um, not that hard to tie, um, reasonably easy fly to tie, um, and one that I reckon I'm only. Um, it's worthwhile having in your fly box and worthwhile throwing, as I say, when trout are up cruising about the, the top layer of the water. Uh, so we'll get kicked on and get started here. The hook in the vise is a size 12 wet fly hook. The thread I'm going to use is Unithread 8 and yellow. So I'll just get started here behind the hook. Run my thread down. Shank the hook. Remove that excess tag and start between where the barb and the point is on the on the hook. The, <clears throat> the foam that I'm going to use, I have cut off a foam block from Vineyard. Now this is uh, five mil wide, so I've taken that. 5 mil slop off the, the length of the block and then what I've done then is I've cut off these are 2 mil wide I've cut off 2 mil slops of this so I started then and um, went then and cut these 2 mil slops off the block the piece that I had cut off the block so um now you, I tie these <laughs> my way, you know what I mean. Um the normal way is dub up and then put your foam on up the front. I like to tie the foam on from the back. Um I'll show you now. So hold your foam at the back of the hook, punch and loop over that just to get it to bite, and run the thread up and open turns up the shank of the hook. Up the behind the eye, and then return your thread back down and tie that foam on tighter on your way back down. And what that does is it gives you that foam on their base as well as your dubbing to keep the fly floating. Um, for me, with that extra foam on, it gives you that extra float of body. Now, if you only put the wee bubble of foam at the front, all that's holding it is this wee bubble at the front. Whereas tying it like this, you have the foam underneath the, the dubbing as well as your foam at the front plus your deer hair. Um, that's the reason why I tie it this way. So just run your thread back up that again. And, and as I say, an open turns, you don't want to tie this foam on too tight. Back down to the rear of the hook. Now what I have here is, uh, this is dry fly dubbing. Um, dry fly dubbins available from a multitude of sources but for this I'm going to use amber so I'll just take off you can use whatever colour of dubbin you want um, you can use whatever colour of foam you want um, so I'll just come on with my dry fly dubbin dub that on the thread Slide that up and then just come on and dub that up our body. Don't come right up to where the foam is. You want to stop um, a good eye length, if not an eye length and a half back from where we stopped our foam. So just come on and finish dubbing that on. So the next part in the fly now is our deer here. So you want to use um, as fine a deer here as you can get your hands on. Um, the reason being is you don't want this too bulky at the back end. It's not a muddler we're tying. It's it's a dry fly. So I'm going to take off here. This is roughly, uh, I would say, 20 fibres. So hold this. Tighten your hand on your scissors and trim that off at the 
nice and tight with the field. So hold your deer hair tubs. Roll them around your finger and that just opens up the fibres and just come on the end and there's underfluff on the deer hair, just come on and pull away that underfluff and any shorter fibres that we have. And you have that all removed, transfer it back over onto your right hand. Come on your air stacker, drop that deer hair on the stacker. Just give that a wee, sorry about the noise, just give that a wee tap, just to stack that up. Come on then, and take our deer hair out of the stagger. So hold this. Now then that's out of place, just come on and pull them away. So hold this in your right hand. Now you want the you want the deer here. There's one there a wee bit too long. You want the deer here just past the rear of the hook. Now you can you can put it out as long as you want, um, or as short as you want. But um, I prefer to have it just past the tail of the hook, the back of the hook. So hold this and. Your left hand, get your thread, pinch and loop and lift your thread up and pull tight, pinch and loop again, and the same again, lift your thread straight up, so then give a couple of tight turns and start bringing your thread towards where our foam is, a couple of turns forward, just separate that from our rear. So, Gather all this with the gear. Come on, there, my scissors, and trim that away. And just be careful you don't cut the hair that we wanted to read. So, as I say, you just come on and trim that with the ends away. Come on, there, my thread, and just tie down them. Them ends tight to, tight to the foam. So, this deer here, what do you want to do? We have this gather it all in your finger and thumb. Punch your finger and thumb together and push the deer here forward. And what you're trying to do is this crump that's on the deer here, here. You're trying to crump that deer here and just do that a couple of times. And give it a wee push down, and all of that does is flatten down the deer here, closer to the body. So as I say, come on and give that a wee squash down, and that'll flatten down whenever we bring our foam over. That'll flatten down closer to the body. So, <clears throat> um, bring your thread back to the back of the foam. Come on again with another wee. Punch over a double, double that on thread, slide that up, and run that over that the ends of the tear here. So fold our foam back. And what you want to do is when you bring a foam back, don't bring it back tight, bring it back and give it a wee, a wee slight push forward. What that does is creates uh, like an air pocket on here, top of the double. So, as I say, bring it back and then give it a wee push forward and that creates a wee air pocket. So, come over to the end and just give, watch the deer here on the far side that you're not pulling it down around the shank. A couple of hairs there that run away on me. So same again, hold this tight and just come on and give a few turns over that just to hold that foam. So the next part is a wee test of super glue. <clears throat> so what I have here is Loctite super glue. 
we just come on them the slightest wee run of super glue down that thread. Hold the ring in place, just come on them. Well, we put that super glue on, give her a few tight turns over the flight, come on me on as quick as you possibly can, give our whoop finish. Pull that tight, come on them. Come away that thread. So we'll just take the time then and any of them hairs that have pulled out of place, just come on them. A wee trim, just a trim there one. There's one there, so we've got two for my right one. So, the last thing they on us with our phone. I'll just come on them. You just want to cut this straight. Just come on with your scissors. And now you can leave that as long or as short as you want. This foam here, I like to cover them nice and tight so they get about two mould behind. But we tie that off. We just come on and cut that off. And there you have it. That's our balloon chiatus. Um as I say a really really easy flighty tie but a very good flighty throw and and fish are cruising about them and the upper levels um just below the surface um and you can you can entice them to come and take it um out of curiosity more than more than anything else. So there you have it folks. That's a it's a balloon chiaris, as I say. Um, very good flay to have in your in your flay box. So, uh, just before I, I finish up the video, I just want to say uh, Merry Christmas, folks. Um, I hope you have a lovely Christmas. Um, and I should be back between Christmas and the New Year with another video before before the turn of the year. So, as I say, um, have a lovely Christmas. So. Thanks for watching again, folks, and until the next time, enjoy Christmas.